It takes only one radioactive atom, one cell, and one gene to initiate the cancer or cell mutation cycle. Hence, any exposure to the radiation increases risk of cancer or genetic damage. We did very simple research that proves that a trip to Chernobyl is safer than, let's say, a flight from Ukraine, where Chernobyl is located, to North America. Let's do the test. Center of Kiev. On the average day, the level is 0.15 microseverts. It's pretty normal taking to the account that there are a lot of marble and granite around. It's a good idea to check your countertops before installing them in your kitchen. Checkpoint into the exclusion zone of Chernobyl. Absolutely normal Chernobyl town. One kilometer from the reactor number four. Near reactor number four, the highest levels of radiation during the tour, maximum time of exposure, 10 minutes. Ghost town of Pripyat. Radiation varies from 0.25 microsieverts to a little bit over 1 microsievert. Maximum exposure 2 hours during the tour. The normal level of radiation is anywhere between 0.09 to 0.30 microsieverts an hour. It can't be zero. This is a fact. Anything above 0.30 microsieverts is called low, medium, and high levels of radiation. Now let's do the calculation. Chernobyl town for one hour, no extra radiation, road to the power plant and back, one hour, 0.4 microsieverts. Reactor number four, 10 minutes, 0 0.6 microsieverts. Pripyat, 0 0.6 microsieverts, on average for two hours, 1.2 microsieverts. The total during Chernobyl tour came to 2.2 microsieverts. Now it's time to fly. When we are in a plane, the radiation will be minimal as metal sheets protect us. There is no noticeable increase of the radiation up to 18,000 feet. Flying over Europe at the altitude of 33,000 feet, the radiation level is 2 microsieverts per hour. When we cross the Atlantic at the altitude of 39,000 feet, we expose to the levels of radiation anywhere from 2 to 3 microsieverts an hour. Let's do our calculation. Two and a half hours flight over Europe will be 2 times 2.5 hours, which equals 5 microsieverts, and 7 hours transatlantic flight. 2.5 times 7 hours equals 17.5. This comes to 22.5 microsieverts in total during the flights from Kiev to Toronto, which is 10 times more during our tour to Chernobyl. Five hotspots on the Earth. Brazil, up to 19 microsieverts per hour. Iran, up to 28 microsieverts per hour. Hot springs. Australia, up to 20 microsieverts per hour. China, over 6 microsieverts. India, up to 22 microsieverts. Solo East Travel staff did this video. Please share it, especially between the flight attendants.